I used to go to this little head shop when I was in college. And uh, for those of you who don't smoke weed and or grew up in a more civilized age, a head shop is a store where you bought your weed accessories in the pre-internet days anyway. Of course, smoking weed was illegal, still is most places. So they were legally required to pretend that they sold tobacco accessories. And as a customer, you too were required to pretend that you were buying tobacco accessories. In fact, there was a little sign on the wall that basically said as much. It, it, it said that they'd ask you to leave if you used any illegal terminology in reference to their merchandise. And by illegal terminology, by the way, they meant the word bong. You had to ask for a water pipe as though any human being anywhere on earth ever smoked tobacco out of a fucking bong. Anyway, I just remember that weird feeling that, you know, they're lying and I'm lying and I know they're lying and they know I'm lying and we both know we both know each other's lying, but nobody cares because we're not actually trying to convince each other that anything is true anyway. We're just like lying as a formality. And I feel like having been in that situation so many times in my life makes it a lot easier to understand what it's like to be religious. Right now, I, I'm not saying they all know they're lying or at least not about all of the stuff. And, and I'm certainly not saying they all know one another knows that they're lying. But some of them do. A lot of them do, right? See, when religious people lose the ability to pretend it's true, the position they tend to retreat to is pretending to pretend it's true. You know the type I'm talking about, right? These people that no longer behave as though their religion is true, but they'll still say it is if they're asked. I'd actually argue this is the overwhelming majority of Christians in America at the moment. And while I can't prove that, I think it's evidenced pretty well by how many of them avoid death and gather sticks on the Sabbath. And, and it's worth asking why a person would do that, right? Like, like once you know it's not true, you, you can't get the main benefits that they sell religion with anymore. It can't help you cope with death anymore. It won't deter you from doing immoral acts. It won't provide you with meaning or direction. You can't tap into the power of prayer. What's left for these people? I mean, you know, obviously some of them are just going along because it's the path of least resistance. They don't want to upset grandma. Or they have a friend group that's centered around the church, whatever. But other people keep pretending for far more nefarious reasons. For example, religion turns out to be a fantastic carrying case for your bigotry. Hell, as far as most Americans are concerned, it's a legally protected carrying case for your bigotry. But it's turning into even worse than that. According to both our judiciary system and our culture, religious beliefs are increasingly becoming a vehicle for bonus rights across the board. Sincerely held belief, though undefined and admittedly unmeasurable, has become a get-out-of-jail-free card for no end of transgressions, and it's only getting worse. All the more so because the religious people in question are playing by the same fucking rules as South Georgia bong purchases circa 1995. Nobody actually believes any of this shit, but as long as nobody says that out loud, they all get their bonus rights. I came across a terrifying quantification of this in a recently released Pew survey. According to the survey, some 67% of American adults agree that, quote, most people with religious objections to vaccines are just using religion as an excuse to avoid the vaccine, end quote. And as terrifyingly low as that number is, we can take comfort in the fact that it is at least a pretty solid majority. But the truly scary part comes when they ask those same respondents whether employers with vaccine mandates should grant those religious exemptions regardless. And 65% said they should. So the majority of even the people who know that these religious objections are bullshit still thinks we should have to honor them anyway. We're not talking about honoring them over a frivolous thing here, right? I mean, this isn't about beard length or being allowed an exemption to the rule against hats at work. We're talking about a literal matter of life and death and not just theirs. We're rapidly approaching a million dead from this pandemic in America alone, and yet people are still saying that we should let liars flaunt the rules just because they invoked the word religion in their lie. As a society, we're more concerned with protecting a person's right to lie their way out of shit than we are about our own fucking health. Look, this would be insane even if we actually believed them. You know, thinking an invisible wizard would get mad at you is not a valid reason to avoid vaccination. But the fact that we're even committed to this when we know they're lying is crazy on a whole different fucking level. Because what it really means is that those people don't want to risk their own religious exemptions. 
You know, they need to protect this notion that sincerely held beliefs are sacrosanct lest they risk losing the legal right to say deny service to a gay person. You know, whether it was the intention or not, the courts have created this perverse incentive to go along with any number of disingenuous claims of religious sincerity. And the more extra rights and exemptions we stuff into that category, the more inclined people will be to abandon reason to protect it. We've already seen that they're willing to sacrifice human fucking lives for this principle. How much further are we doomed to see them go?